Do you want to edit your PDF files on PC or laptop without the use for third-party software or other stuff? Then you came to the right place. In this video, we'll show you how you can edit your PDF documents in just a couple of seconds right on your PC and laptop, and this can also work on your iPhone or Android devices. You don't have to download any third-party software and this process is absolutely free. Now let's learn how to do this. You want to open any web browser on your device. I will use Google Chrome, but you can open any browser you like to use. Now in the URL bar, we need to type ilovepdf.com. This is a great little website that we will use for this tutorial. Now when you open this website, you'll see a bunch of different options, and we have to click on this PDF to Word button. We will have to convert our PDF file to a Word document, we can edit the document directly on our PC and then we can save that file as a PDF. I'm first gonna open up my PDF file example that I want to edit. As you can see, I can't delete the text in here, I can't add any text and so on. So we first have to convert our file. Let's go back to our web browser and click on this select PDF file button. This will open our file explorer so just find the PDF file which you want to edit and import it. My file has been successfully imported to the website and the next step is to click on this convert to word button which should be on the right side of the screen. Just wait a couple of seconds until your file converts to a word document and then download your document once it all finishes. And when your file opens, you simply want to open the file and you will be able to edit the text. You can delete the text, fix some typing mistakes, you can add text and everything else. You can now easily edit PDF files on your PC or Mac. And if you don't have any editor on your PC, you can go to the online version of Microsoft Word, then upload your document and you can easily edit your file. When you finish editing your document, simply save it as a PDF file. And that's it for this video everyone. If this video helped you out, then leave a comment down below and I'll see you in the next video.